Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and we're going to continue November's joy of unboxings with a double whammy today. It's a couple of expansions. First we've got Kemet, the Tarseti expansion and then we'll be following that up with Kiklades and it's the Hades expansion. Oh lots of goodies here for two excellent games. So enough of me yapping, let's have a look inside Kemet's Tarseti expansion. Here it is and it's full of miniatures and extra stuff so let's check it out. Rip off that shrink wrap. So what have we got? Counters! Yes, we're starting off with some counters. And as you can see, there's a whole new um, set of tiles here. Player tiles, power tiles. Um, these are the black ones. So that should be interesting and should shake up play quite a lot. There's a few more. Great artwork as usual. Love the design of this game. There's some more counters. These all have to do with the new priest board. And this is the priest board, which is made up of double-sided pieces like this that all fit, fit together into a kind of track. You can see. And as you move your priests along this track, you get various powers that change the game. So it's really going to shake things up. Um, there's a few different modules in here, different things you can add. You don't have to add all the new rules straight away. Here are the new rules. Hold on. And it's only a four page thing because we've got all the different language versions as well. German, French, Spanish, etc. Wow. Very multilingual. And here's our multilingual uh, reference sheets as well. Of course you don't need these because you've got wonderful esoteric order of gamers reference sheets. And we've got another one of these um, cardboard illustrated insert things. We've got some cards and some counters and some plastic pieces. Let's have a closer look at all of this. Well, here are some new cards, new combat cards. Shaking up the battle sequences a little bit. And there's some new divine intervention cards. We've got some black pyramidal dice. I wish they just made these black because as you can see they've gone for a marbly effect and there's quite a lot of white. So just black would have been fine but still they look impressive. We've got some little counters and these are our priests. Looks like there's a couple for each colour and look they're all individual sculpts too. Actually they're not individual sculpts there are two different sculpts for each colour but they have packed quite a lot of detail into these tiny little miniatures. Lovely little things they are. We've got six mercenaries, three male and three female, which is good. We've got this strange hippo looking thing. Uh, what looks like a sphinx. Very nice too. And um, sort of ram type creature. Don't know what this is. But I'll soon find out. So some nice extra monsters. And of course we've got a couple of little counters. And that pretty much wraps it up for Comet Tarseti. So is it worth the price tag? Oh, look, I don't know. It's pretty pricey, especially down here in New Zealand. It's really the price of the whole game. But Comet is a fantastic game and it'll be fun to add this new stuff to it. So that's Comet. Let's have a look at the next one. Now, as you can tell, I'm feeling very clever because I worked out how to pronounce the name of this game properly. So that's why I'm saying Cyclades instead of what I used to say, which was Cyclades. Sounds better, doesn't it? Cyclades. Right. Let's have a look. We've got some cardboard. Lots of cardboard. And it is some new gods. Aphrodite, Demeter, uh, Artemis, Dionysus. Hermes, Hera, quite a lot there. That's good. A uh, little reference sheet. This, of course, has all been summarized and is available on the Esoteric Order of Gamers website at orderofgamers.com. Here's our rule book. 
Again, just four pages and then lots of translations. And inside, again, not a huge amount of stuff, but it's an expansion. I just think it's a little bit overpriced for what you get, but again, it's such a good game. So who can resist? They've got us over a barrel. What can we do? We're obsessive game players. We have to buy this stuff, don't we? Yeah, new monsters and new powers and new cards. Awesome figures. Let's have a look. So here are the figures that come in Kekladi's Hades. And we have some undead troops. And strangely enough, they're all different designs. All unique. There you go. There's the troops, and here are the ships, and again they're all slightly different for some strange reason. I haven't quite yet fathomed yet. Uh, we've got a Cerberus figure. We've got a Hades column. And then we've got six hero figurines. Again, all lovely individual sculpts. This actually makes this expansion a little bit more impressive because that guy looks a bit weird. He's lost his neck. Um, doing all individual sculpts obviously costs a lot more money, so you can understand where the money is going in there. That's it, folks. Comet, Tarsetti, and Kiklades Hades. Two expansions for two excellent games. Uh, lots of modules that you can add individually to the rules. Pick and choose. The variety is astounding and certainly many, many hours of gaming pleasure ahead. Hope you've enjoyed this quick double barreled unboxing and we'll see you next time. In the meantime, go to orderofgamers.com. Visit the site, check it out. There's lots of stuff there and there's lots more coming. Thanks very much and see you next time.